It was, it was just unbelievable. Rob Froelich is filled with joy every time he takes his boat up close to the historic Hawaii Martin Mars water bomber. But he knows this luxury is about to end. You talked about the roar of the engine. Yes. Hard to explain. Something you really just gotta feel. Yes. Yeah, you gotta. It, 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 you can feel it when it goes over your house. It'll shake the windows. The Martin Mars long history in Port Alberni is coming to an end, and these final days, many in the community are saying goodbye, taking tours of the plane and taking it in for one last time before it flies out. The sheer magnitude of this water bomber is what brought Daniel Bolton from Australia to see it in its glory one last time. You know, after hearing about this thing retiring, I, um, I had to get over here and had to check this thing out, and uh, so yeah asked for permission from my wife and, and uh, who's got the three kids at home and uh, got the chance to come over here and, uh, and, and check this thing out. So. so how do you convince your wife with three kids that you're going to make it all the way here from Australia? She's a, she's a very understanding wife so uh, <laughs> and she understands my passion for flying boats. Longtime pilot Rick Matthews will be at the controls for the final flight. You know you get a bit emotional, not emotional, but you get uh, melancholy about the whole thing sometimes. Yeah, it's sad to leave it go, it's uh, sad to see it go. But... It's had, it's had its day here, uh, and it's great. It's going to a great place. When this behemoth takes to the sky on Sunday, it's going to be the hottest free show in town. And soon everyone will be able to get up close and see its massive size in person. Sunday's flight will take the water bomber from Port Alberni to Campbell River and Powell River, then back to Comox and down the coast, landing sometime between 6 and 6.30 p.m. in Pat Bay beside the Institute of Ocean Sciences and the Coast Guard base. The flight route set up as a tribute to flying over several West Coast forest communities. You can track the journey live online on the site Flight Radar 24. And when it arrives, it won't be alone. The Canadian Forces Snowbirds demonstration team will also be in the sky for part of the journey. All nine planes in formation. Tell me about what Grandpa says when he comes home and he talks about this plane. What does he tell you about it? He tells me that it's really cool to be a part of it. Once it arrives, the Martin Mars will undergo dewatering before being winched up a Coast Guard ramp and eventually lifted into a heavy haul trailer. The move will likely happen at night, the final stages in a highly anticipated journey to the BC Aviation Museum before it's officially welcomed to the public as the museum's new crown jewel on September 28th.